Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, a little bit of news. I, I didn't see them make any videos on it, but it was on BoxingC.com, which I know everybody reads, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to talk about this. Um, Paul Emanuel Naji, you know, he's kind of still fighting. He plans on fighting for some European titles, and, um, you know, I've, I've known this, so this is not news to me, but I, I, I've known this myself through people I know. But uh, Paul Emanuel Naji trains regularly at the Fifth Street Gym, or the new Fifth Street Gym. Uh, in, in in Miami on Alton Road, and you know, Malinaji is, is is trying to gauge where he's at in his career right now. He, I think he's in that that stage of his career where I finally know he's not in his prime anymore, but um, he knows he he feels he can still get something. So he's he's gauging himself and, and, and to gauge himself, he's sparring a you know a guy that I've been interviewed that multiple times who I plan on interviewing a couple more times in the future and hopefully when he covers them, when I cover some fights uh, Amiri Mom Amiri Mom is a guy that uh, you know is coming off of a loss to Granados it's it's, ju it's almost July he's been seven months in active so this is good for your mom too but they Paul Malinaji and Amiri Mom spar with each other at the Fifth Street Gym now I don't know who got the better of who I wasn't there I don't have footage um, I'm just going off of a report on boxing scene so um, here's what I'll read I I'll read to you what um Garcia, uh, Garcia, um, Malinaji, I should say, uh, said about him sparring Imam and what happened down there. He said, I quote, I want to know how well I'm doing this. I want to know how well I'm doing this again. I actually see here in the gym and I need to know how my body reacts long, reacts long training and in training camp. I have about 15 years of doing this and now I need to know that my passion for boxing is still in my heart. For now, I'm, tr I'm training at a less intense level than, I, than when I do for a fight. I'm waiting for confirmation for my next fight, and I'm doing some rounds with a young guy like Imam who is fast and young and gives me an idea of where I am physically. I think being I think by being less physical and having more intelligent fights are something that I can still do for some for some time. My body is no longer the same. When I started in professional boxing, there was a fire and as a desire to achieve goals. Now it's different. I've reached some goals and I have less intensity, not only for boxing but for all aspects of my life. I'll be back soon, maybe in Europe for a regional title, and that motivates me to continue. In my last few fights in England, Italy, I felt really good, and I still think I have some gas in the tank to have a few fights before leaving boxing. Very soon, you will hear about my next fight. So there you have it. You know, Malinaji is, um, you know, he's in that stage where he knows he's not a top level fighter anymore. Um, even when he was in his prime, he wasn't at the top of the top. He was still uh, in the mix, definitely a, 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 a title holder, but not, not. A level pound for pound fighter, level good. He's just you know a very good a good, a good fighter who held the title. Um, so yeah, I mean he still wants to continue his boxing career. It's hard, it's hard to retire from boxing, man, because once you become a fighter, it's it's it's, it's so ingrained in you. And um, you know who's who's to say that if Pauly gets a string of wins in Europe and Italy that he's not brought in to fight some other con young contender or prospect? It happens all the time in boxing and. Um, who knows? But I think it's good that we see uh, not just Malinaji getting some work in with a tough, tough guy like Imam, but um, Imam getting some work in. We see that he's staying sharp because we haven't heard from him a lot. You know, I've, I've spent time around Amir. He's he's a quiet guy by nature, so he's he's not into the whole media thing. Um, so yeah, it's good to see Imam getting work in with a former world champion and, and, and a guy as analytical and as astute to the boxing game as Paul and Malinaji. Um, maybe he can he, he, he can pick up pick up some things about himself that he didn't know before and, and become a better boxer, because I feel like in the Granados fight he deviated from what made him great, which is you know using that, that long long very very uh, troubling jab at, at, at his best. When I mean, I'm honest, at his best man, that jab is a serious problem. Uh, one of the best, one of the most devastating jabs you'll see in boxing when he's when he's really on his pace and cues. But good to see him in the, in, the, in the gym. I know he goes there for sparring on certain days of the week. I uh, hope to see him soon and talk to him about the whole Spar Malinaji thing. So um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think Paul Malinaji will ever fight on a, on a big stage again? And uh, what do you think about him sparring with a guy like a Miriam Mom? Uh, leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.